Okay, we're videoing. So I'm here in Jody Tools uh, finishing shop and he's done an experiment that I want to uh, uh, show on video. He's, he's uh, lacquered four different species of woods with the CIC uh, acrylic lacquer. Now over here he's lacquered four more boards with a pre-cat and uh, then, following that, four more of the same species of woods with the conversion varnish. The test was to see if the conversion varnish actually changed the color of the wood. We're going to take this uh, uh, mahogany, or this, this is uh, not mahogany, but uh, maybe walnut. walnut, yeah. And uh, compared to the pre-cat, and you can see that the color is not altered badly at all, if any. And here is the, uh, this, the lacquer. This is, that's the uh, right. This is the lacquer. You got pre-cat lacquer conversion varnish. The significance is the conversion varnish is waterborne, and as you all know, that waterborne sometimes gives it a milky look. However, I see no difference at all in the color. Uh, also, you will know that they all three have. Uh, or seal with vinyl sealer. So I passed the color test, okay? Pass the color test. Okay, color now. Color test is the same. Now the next test we're going to do. I'm going to wash it with um, lacquer thinner. And the deal is these have been dry for three days. Okay. So here we go. Let's see what happens when we hit these with some lacquer thinner. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, first we're going to take the Centurion, the 3022. And let's see what the hell happens. You see there? Well, you can I, see I, it at the mark. you got to bring it down from the light. It's, the light's shining too much. How's that? Uh, Is that good? Yeah, that's good. So it's you rubbing see, off. Yeah, it's definitely. I mean, you don't expect this to hold up to lacquer thinner. Okay, good. It's definitely coming off. Then we're going to do the pre-cat. Yeah, it's still sticky. Right. I... Now, the pre-cat... Should we mention the brand? No, I don't know. we should not. Keep but, it low, though. But right this there. is a 550 VOC pre-cat. down here, yeah. Like, down, like that? Yeah, right there. Ah. Look at that, it came right off, man. It came right off, and I can see that right there. You can see it right I think this came off more than the Centurion did. It does appear that way, doesn't it? It came yeah, right off. Yeah, you can just... So the pre-cat is less acetone-resistant than the Centurion 3022. Lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner, okay. So we would presume the same for the acetone, because we're just that damn smart. There you have it. All right, so here we come now. This is the Centurion's Waterborne yep. Conversion Coating, which is like a conversion right varnish. There. You ready? Yep. All right, now look at that. El Primo. Doesn't affect it at all, does it? I don't see anything. No, it's fine. Wipe it again. Wipe it nice and hard. Uh, see, that's not affecting it at all. No. Uh, does it feel tacky at all? No. So it just polished it. Yeah, well, this is three days old. We should wait till it's 30 days old. But we're impatient. Indeed. But it still passed the test. So on a lacquer thinner wipe, there was no uh, noticeable change in the coating. No, I don't see anything at all there. You see that? Right. And this is waterborne. It has, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst smell, it's got about a minus 2. Wow. I mean, you can stick your nose in the bucket. So that's a definite plus point. And how fast did it dry? It dries, I mean, I couldn't see any difference in the drying time between the waterborne and, and the Centurion acrylic lacquer, which is solid-based. 
Right. I haven't seen any difference at all in the drying time. Great. Okay. Anything else for our test? Is that it? I like this product. <laughs> I think it's terrific. It really is. And that's done over a vinyl sealer, too. Yeah, the vinyl sealer, I think, is key because then you can, if you're using, you know, solvent-based stains, you don't have to worry about drying time. Ah, uh, good you point. See? And it also helps bring out the color. Thank you very much, Jody. Hey, see you next time. <laughs>